The Center for Adolescent Renewal and Education, CARE, is on course for significant expansion in 2023 with the establishment of its latest facility, a proposed hospitality and catering block earmarked for construction in cul-de-sac Castries. The government of St. Lucia has secured a $2.2 million grant from the government of India to materialize the project. At the sword turning ceremony, which took place on July 11th at the Odsa Center, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre commended CARE and its successive boards and faculty for continuing to provide St. Lucia's marginalized youth with opportunity for vocational development. Well, Dominic was a very practical man, a man of God, but a man of practicality. And when he started the, the care program, everybody said, why are you seeing about these people? And the same thing we had today, these people. People who live, and why are you worried about these people for? Why are you living with these people? Same thing, same things we had today. These people, my brothers and my sisters, are human beings. Their parents have the same aspirations for their children. Their parents want their children to do well, and these children, most of them, do well if they are given the opportunity. And what, <laughs> and what care is given is opportunity. Opportunity for them to give them a first chance, a second chance, even a third chance. How many of us who, who scream self-righteousness? How many of us have not made mistakes? And if it were not for the benefit of our position, our parents, our social status will not have been where we are today. How many of us? But we scream and we say, these people, and why are you spending on these people? But care and the board of directors, this is why I recognize them, have spent time on these people. And I'm sure they look back at pride, with pride and see how many of these people have become men and women and a contribution to the society. Honorable Pierre, who also serves as Minister of Finance, used the occasion to announce that the $550,000 government subvention provided to CARE will be increased in the next fiscal year. In these trying times, the government of St. Lucia this year will increase I want to be careful. <laughs> I see Baba. I see Baba watching me <laughs> because he he wants his folk research center <laughs> to to continue. But let me go back and say it slowly. In the upcoming budget, the government of Saint Lucia will increase the subvention to care. But that's not all. We have, this year also, we are going to increase the support that we are giving to children to go into school this year. We're going to be increasing the support. Last year, we started the facility fees and the paying of CXCs for English and Maths. This year, we cannot increase the amount of subjects that we pay. But as soon as things improve, we are going to increase the subjects that we pay. In. And hopefully, hopefully, by the end of this term, hopefully, children will not have to pay any CXC fees to f when the time comes. The completion of CARE's proposed hospitality and catering block is scheduled to coincide with its 30th anniversary next year. The project forms part of the upgrading St. Lucia's capacity to provide impactful vocational training for marginalized youth project, which is financed by the India UN Development Partnership Fund through the United Nations Office for South-South Cooperation. From the Office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.